this episode, we continue our trip back across the United States toward California. We visit the Hickerson Petroglyphs. Come with us and explore. Okay, recreational area. Well, hello everybody. We've made a quick roadside stop. We're ha we're traveling Highway 50 all the way across Utah, which we did mostly yesterday. And now we're just making our way across Nevada, which is just another beautiful state. It's um let's see. We are between um, Eureka and Austin, probably closer to Austin. I saw a sign on the side of the road that said Petroglyphs. So we pulled over and it's this BLM campground where they've got a lot of camp places. There's hardly anybody here, but we're going to take use of this picnic table, make some lunch, and just relax. We've still got uh, probably 500 miles to go to get home so it's just nice to take a break thought we'd stop here and maybe do a 0. 0.6 mile hike a loop to go see the petroglyphs so come with us okay this must be the first set of petroglyphs on this little hike oh yeah here's what we got like a bird something these petroglyphs are located right off of Highway 50. There are several roadside signs that mention petroglyphs. You see the sign and it's an easy exit. It's very near the town of Austin, Nevada. Unfortunately, there's little information about these petroglyphs. They're about 10,000 years old and it's really a neat interpretive trail a total of about 1.5 miles and you get some great lookouts and views and places. It was a nice stop just to pull over on the side of the road and check something out that uh, we normally might just bypass and drive down the road. Yeah, the overlook is definitely worth it. That might be the direction we're going, but I can tell you in Nevada we're going through valleys like this. I mean seriously big open valleys. This part of the country is just so fast and beautiful. Yeah, I can see how you really like the solitude. I mean, just hiking up into these hills, the top of that hill and looking over the next side, it's just, you'll just see for miles and miles. Yeah. So the trails are definitely maintained. They have numbers, it's number seven, but unfortunately there were no brochures to know what they're trying to teach you at each number. The rock formations were very interesting and the trails were very well maintained. Though it was a hot day, it was really a lot of fun and there was hardly anyone at the park. We had it pretty much to ourselves. Yeah, that's probably the coolest one that Looked we've like seen. Like a rabbit or something. No. It looks like a face. Face. So, just crazy markings. Petroglyphs are a mystery. We always wonder what they meant. How many generations of indigenous people visited these rocks and wrote stories about their lives and their interpretation of the world around them? There had to be personalities of the individuals just like us. You can imagine children watching their elders etch pictures and stories into the stone, wishing that they could do it, but knowing they would get in incredible trouble if they did. Perhaps someone with a cheeky personality even wrote something funny, but unfortunately, we probably will never know. Our short time spent at the Hickets and Petroglyphs was really a great break from the road. We were able to learn something and see something that most people don't stop for. 
and then we were off on the road again toward California. In our next episode, we hit the Sierra Nevada mountains and explore a little known lake near the peak of Donner Summit. And that's a story, my friends, for our next video on Keith and Wee Adventures. Mm-hmm.